Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Hey, Fusion Church, how are you doing today? Well, we're excited. It is Vision Sunday here at Fusion Church, and we've got our incredible Cumberland County. Come on, let's welcome Cumberland County. How are you doing, Cumberland County? We're excited that you are a part of God's family. We got our Egg Harbor Township and our online family. So one more time, let's celebrate all of God's people here together today. And uh, listen, w- w- February is going to be an incredible month here at Fusion Church. We've got some very, very, very uh, important things happening that is going to allow you to be able to go to the next level with what God's doing in your life. To kick that off, remember, if you're a dream teamer, uh, this Tuesday night, Pastor Matt Keller, one of my best friends, is going to be with me, uh, an incredible pastor of a multi-site church in uh, Fort Myers, Florida, Next Level Church. He is an author. He is an incredible pastor. But more important, he is one of my best friends, and we do life together. We are brothers that do life together. And so normally we hang out every uh, you know, few months, and he said, Brennan, I just feel I've got a word. I've got a prophetic word for this church. I said, well, we're having a dream team night, so come hang with us at our dream team night. And I said, plus, we're breaking the 21-day Daniel fast with some feasting that's going to be happening on our dream team night. So for all of you that have uh, pressed in over the last 21 days, we are celebrating with God's supernatural breakthrough uh, in your life. Uh, with the seizing and fasting and prayer. In fact, if you have had a miracle, go ahead, email me. Let us know so we can share God's goodness uh, in the season. But Vision Sunday, what does that mean? We want to look back at all that God did in 2022, and then we want to celebrate with what God's going to be doing in 2023. So the vision here at Fusion Church, the vision is this. We want to reach people. Come on, let's say it together. Fusion Church exists to reach people far from Jesus, equip Christ followers, and go to all the nations. Now, I know we're warming up, get get our vocals going, but let's try that again. Fusion Church exists to reach people far from Jesus, equip Christ followers, and go to all the nations. And guess what? Here in southern New Jersey, all the nations are right around us. Come on, look at the diversity of Fusion Church, correct? So we are here. I'm from South Africa. You're from wherever you might be. And listen, South Jersey is not a nation. Someone recently said, well, I'm from South Jersey. I'm like, it's not a nation, okay? I know you've never left, but you should leave once in a while and then come back, okay? And and so our vision is very clear here. I know some people can have like eight steps, you know, six-part vision. I'm not that clever, correct? I'm like a three kind of a guy, correct? Reach, equip, go. Real simple, correct? Reach, equip, go. Every one of us can remember, reach, equip. Reach. We got to try this again, okay? Reach, equip, go. Okay, three things we want to do here, much like the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, correct? Reach, equip, go. And the Bible tells us in the book of Proverbs, so Old Testament book of Proverbs 29, verse 18, it says, Where there is no vision, which is revelation from God and His Word, the people are unrestrained. The NIV says, Where there is no vision, the people perish, okay? But the scripture goes on to say, but happy, happy. How many of us want to be happy, correct? Happy, okay? It's a biblical thing to be happy and blessed. So you just want to be happy. You want to be blessed who keeps the law of God. The law of God is the word of God, the Bible. Uh, it's what we, 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 we ground ourselves in the word of God. And, and so again, um, where there is no vision, the people cast off restraint, no revelation. That's what Pastor Matt's going to do. He said, Brennan, I've got a prophetic word for the church. I've got some vision for the church. And you're going to see what God did in 2022 is going to lay a foundation for what he's going to do in 2023. Um, God's Word Today translation, another translation says this. It says, without prophetic vision, the people run wild. Okay, so without prophetic vision, the people run wild. We're always seeing that. We're seeing a wild culture right now. A lot of pressure. Uh, a, a, a lot of pressure right now, but blessed. Again, I want to live a blessed life. I, I don't need more pain. I've got enough stupid tax in my life. Anybody else? Okay. I, I want God's plan in my life. I'm tired of Brendan's plan in my life, but blessed. Everybody say the word blessed. blessed. Blessed are those who follow God's teachings. And that's what we want to teach here at Fusion Church. God's 
teaching. We're not teaching Brennan's teachings. We're not teaching. No, we're teaching God's teachings here at Fusion Church. And, and so when there's no revelation, when there's no vision, we act like uh, what I want to title or uh, call the village idiot. Have you ever heard about the village idiot? Uh, it's that guy that kind of, uh, you know, goes around with a bow and arrow and he shoots the bow and it hits a tree and he gets all excited. He was never intending to hit the tree, but he hit the tree, so he got excited. And then he takes the bullseye and he hangs it around the tree and he tells everyone, look, I hit the bullseye, I hit the bullseye. Well, no, you didn't hit the bullseye. What you did is you're an idiot. You know, you were just messing around and then you said you got it, Correct. And we don't want to be like that here at Fusion Church. We want to have a very uh, refined focus of what God is doing in our communities and in our regions. And so our focus here at Fusion Church is really the one, the one. Uh, we, we know there's a lot, but how do we serve the one? Again, how do we get out of rows and into connect groups? This is the second week of our connect group launch weekends. And so you want to get out of rows and get into connect groups. I'm in a connect group. Pastor Matt Keller and myself, we're in a connect group. I have a connect group here that I'm leading, a freedom group, okay? And so even I am in connect groups here. And, uh, and so today we are going to talk about numbers. And I know some people have an aversion to numbers in the church. They're like, we shouldn't talk about that. And I'm like, okay, well, if we shouldn't talk about that, why did God talk about numbers? You'll get that on the way home today. Because there's a book in the Bible called Numbers, correct? So like if we shouldn't talk about numbers... Well, God talked about numbers, and there's a book in the Bible called Numbers. And then you're, some people go, but that's the Old Testament. We're in the New Testament. Okay, great. I'm so glad you asked. If you turn in your Bibles to John 21, verse 11, it talks about numbers. Let's look at it. It says, so Simon Peter, who was fishing, climbed back into the boat and dragged the net ashore. It was full of large fish. How many numbers were there? 153. But even with so many, the net was not torn. So Simon Peter was fishing on the wrong side. Jesus told him to fish on the right side, okay? And when he fished on the right side, he got 153 large fish because when he was fishing on the wrong side, which was his side, he was coming up empty-handed. Many of us are fishing on the wrong side, and we need to listen to God's commands. We need to get some vision so we can fish on the right side. And when we fish on the right side, we see that there's going to be a great harvest. So again, I, I, can, net, I can net this out, uh, but we don't have time for that. But, but, but we cannot have an aversion for numbers because every number is a soul. Make sense? Every number is a life impacted. And, and there is m- massive numbers in our communities and in our regions. Uh, for example, Cumberland County over there. Let me talk about Cumberland County. God's doing a phenomenal work, okay? And in Cumberland County, there's a little over 150,000 people in Cumberland County. 150,000 people. In fact, statistics would say that less than 7% of people in Cumberland County go to church, okay? Have a, a relationship with Jesus. Less than 7%. So that tells me that the work of God in Cumberland County is great, And not just can we Fusion Church do it, but we need to partner with other churches to be able to impact uh, the region. Um, Even here in uh, Atlanta County, for example, correct? Atlanta County has 274,000 people just right here in Atlanta County. Wrap your head around that. 274,000 people. You're like, I didn't think that many people lived here. Yes, they do. Okay. And and so less than 7% of them would be considered Bible believing Christ followers. Okay. So we have a great work to reach those that are far from Jesus, then equip Christ followers and then go. We don't want to be the Dead Sea. We want to be going. We want to be giving. We want to be living. And then even I was thinking the other day and praying for Cape May County. Uh, right under 95,000, right under 100,000 people live in Cape May County. I mean, mind blown. And, and so I'm praying, God, what do you see the work of God in Cape May County look like? What does the work of God in Salem County look like? What is the work of God in Gloucester? And we can keep on going. There's 21 counties in New Jersey. And so uh, the work of God is great in this region. In fact, the work of God is so great, we can't even fit the people in the buildings that we have. And so we've got to think at another level like we've never thought in our life. And so uh, briefly, let's talk about the state of the church, correct? Where is the state of the church uh, in the United States of America? Uh, Because the rest of the world is booming, correct? Uh, The state of the church in South America is exploding, exploding right now. 
uh, the state of the church in uh, northern and southern Africa is, I mean, when I was back in South Africa in the month of November, I mean, what God is doing there is absolutely supernatural, correct? I mean, just thousands and hundreds of thousands of people coming to know Jesus. Uh, China, the underground church, is exploding and growing. India, Asia, even in places uh, like Europe, and yet here in uh, North America, and here in the United States of America, it's not booming, but it's really glooming and dooming. And uh, this graph uh, will show us over here uh, what it looks like in uh, the early 2000s, correct? The average church attendance in the United States of America. So the average church was about 137 people. So 137 people would gather uh, at, at an average church in the 2000s. And then look at this. All we, we see is steady decline, correct? So the rest of the world... The, the, the church, the body of Christ is increasing, it's booming, and here it's glooming and looming. Uh, and then all of a sudden, COVID hits, correct? Everyone remember COVID? And uh, church just drops down to 65 people, an average of 65 people in the average church in the United States. Now, uh, 21 went up a little bit, a little bit over there. And then uh, 22, what happened? It dropped down again over there. And, and, and so 65. So when we're looking at the data, the metrics today on Vision Sunday of what God did in 2022 here at Fusion Church, take, take some of it, like, for example, you'll see the children's ministry, and uh, take 65 and divide it, and you can see what God is up to uh, in this community, because God is, is on the move. And, and what we're not seeing is this. But when I look at that, I say there's a great work at Fusion Church to help come alongside churches in our region, churches nationally, and churches around the world. And we're seeing that right now. We're seeing churches come and say, hey, we, we need help. We need help with this. We need help with that. And we'll talk about that uh, a little bit at the end of today's service. But, but here's the principle, correct? You might not like graphs, but here's the principle, simply this. We have to do things that we've never done before to reach those that we've uh, never reached before, that will never walk across the church unless we reach them in a specific way. We've got to challenge ourselves, uh, not with uh, religion and, and thinking inside the box, but we've got to get outside of the box to reach people that we've never reached before because there is literally in the three counties that I mentioned earlier, right at half a million people, half a million people. And yet less than 7% would be uh, Bible believing Christ followers. And so there's a great work for you and I to come together and see what God is doing uh, in this region. And so how do we reach people like we've never reached before? Uh, one of those things would be the helicopter egg drop that we did last year and we've done for the last few years because the helicopter egg drop reaches someone that doesn't care to come into church for worship, correct? The helicopter egg drop does, uh, reaches someone who doesn't care about a preacher or getting out of a row and into a circle. Uh, no, they're like, give me eggs. Give me eggs. And uh, let me run wild, correct? And, uh, and so we reached thousands of people through that. And so again, uh, March 25th of this year, right at, uh, in, on your phone or something, is our helicopter egg drop 2023. And we will see God do beautiful things uh, through that. And, and so number one, we, we've got to uh, push the boundaries of how we can reach people. The second thought is this, is what we've seen God do lays a runway for what He wants to do. What we've seen God do lays a runway for what he wants to do. And so what has God done in uh, 2022? Let, let's look at look, look that. And, and, and this is kind of what we would call our annual report. Um, normally we have this uh, boring uh, business meeting that's on a Sunday night, like 10 or 15 people show up for the business meeting. Our treasurer gets up here with a boring old spreadsheet. And I was like, forget about that stuff. Let's talk about uh, what is God up to. And let's talk to the whole church about it, not just like 10 or 15 people at a boring business meeting. And, and so what, what does that look like? The reach of what God did in 2022, okay? The reach was this. We saw uh, 900 first-time guests coming through the doors of both Cumberland County and Egg Harbor Township and also online, okay? So that's spot on. That, that, that's perfect, okay? Uh, that, that number right there. Uh, look at that. I celebrate that. 314 salvations. Come on, let's put our hands together and let's celebrate that because that is absolutely phenomenal. 98 people are going through Welcome Home. Our Welcome Home is our next step to getting on a team. And let me be honest, that, 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 that's, that's, not, that's not the best, okay? Thank you for the one person that clapped, okay? Uh, that, that's Because that, I didn't clap. Okay, you know, I'm like, hey guys, we got to do, the, we got to do better. We had 900 first-time guests, and and yet 
98 people went through Welcome Home. And so that's something in 2023. We, we want to do better at that. And if you've not been through Welcome Home, hi, my name is Brendan. I'm your pastor. You need to go through Welcome Home, okay? It's coming up. So sign up for Welcome Home because it's the next step to getting on the team. So you know how fusion works and why we do what we do. Very important. Uh, this number is totally incredible. 188 water baptisms. Come on. If you are one of those 188 people, let's celebrate that. And absolutely amazing. In 2021, there were 72 water baptisms and 2022, 188. That is supernatural. And what does that tell us? That tells us that people are hungry for a touch of God. It tells us that people are hungry for the move of God. So as we see nationally the gloom, we see that, no, the Spirit of God is still working. And we want to get behind that in greater ways in 23. And then I want to celebrate that 533 dream teamers here at Fusion Church that makes it all happen. And that's incredible. 155 served for the first time. 155, okay? That's nearly double now, over double the average size church in America. And so I'm saying this very humbly, church, very humbly, because it has very little to do with me. It has everything to do with you. I just get to be a part of what God's doing. I get to be a part of seeing people serving, greeting in the parking lot. Uh, Cumberland County, the setup and tear down team of that LED screen and the kids ministry in Cumberland Christian. The, the dream teamers are the backbone of this church. So come on one more time. Let's celebrate the dream teamers and all that you do to be a part of that. And so Fusion Family, correct? Our Fusion Family is a huge part of what we do here. Uh, 201 first time families checking in at both of our locations. That's incredible. But look at that number there. 739 unique children, unique children that we ministered to in 2022. That is amazing. Let's give our children's ministry a big round of appreciation. And when I looked at that number, correct? Again, take the average church in America, 65 people, and divide it, some of you mathematicians, by 739. That's massive. So our children's ministry is pastoring I mean, how many churches is that? That's wild. So God is on the move, both at Cumberland County, here at Egg Harbor Township, as we're impacting the children's lives. So come on, for our children's ministry, one more time. Let's appreciate them. And Pastor Sean, that leads them in such an amazing way. Uh, Student ministry over here, 54, uh, here at our Egg Harbor Township. That's incredible. 19 uh, teenagers uh, at our Cumberland County location. And that is huge, correct? Because they are nipping on the heels of Egg Harbor Township if it's based on statistics. And let me tell you, I want to give a special shout out to our Cumberland County youth leaders. Many of them, listen to this, help with set up on Saturday. They help with tear down and serve on a team on Sunday. And then they show up on a Monday night, set up again and serve our teenagers in Cumberland County. That is worth a shout out. Come on, let's make some noise for our Cumberland County youth leaders. We love you over there. And then come on, 100. You're going to warm up your hands in this church today, correct? 135 salvations in our student ministry. That is amazing. And some of us need to be bringing our kids so we can get them saved, free, and changed for eternity. Amen. I'm a product. I'm a product of a youth ministry that was on fire. So come on. Let's see God move in our student ministry in huge ways. So what what does that look like from attendance here at Fusion Church? Again, every name uh, is a soul. Every number is a soul. But if we took the high highs and the low lows and we averaged them out, we saw 944 people uh, average weekly attendance. So obviously right now we're in a growth season. It's way high, way higher than that. Uh, But last year at Egg Harbor Township, uh, we saw a 40% increase in growth last year over the year before. That is absolutely supernatural right there. And so again, what we're seeing is people are hungry for God. Amen. People are hungry for an encounter with God. People are hungry to meet God. We're not seeing a decrease. We are seeing an increase. And so we need to pray, God, how do we expand what you're doing? How do we make room for what God is doing over there? And again, Cumberland County in September, uh, you had your first year anniversary. So God is on the move. And we're seeing this forward operating base developed in Cumberland County. Now, uh, we know that not everyone comes to church uh, on the same weekend. When they do, those times of the year are called Easter and Christmas when everyone shows up up, correct? The Christers, which is none of you today, correct? And uh, so we see once every three weeks is what church attendance has kind of uh, come
come down to uh, since pre-COVID uh, data is released. So we would see that we ministered to 2,832 unique individuals here uh, within a month. And so again, I want to give a shout out to our dream team. That's a lot of coffee. You guys are coffee animals here at Fusion Church. That's a lot of door opening. That's a lot of soap guides. That's a lot of ministry that happens. And uh, that's absolutely incredible. And then let's not forget our online family that's joining us today. Weekly average, 762. That is phenomenal as God is allowing us to really build that family that's online. And so again, uh, for the reaching, we've got to do things that we've never done before. And one of those things that we continue to do that impacts this community is things like the helicopter egg drop. We saw that last year with over 1,700 people engaging in the helicopter egg drop. 897 kids, Cumberland County, you had close to over 500 kids, a little around 390 here at Egg Harbor Township, but 635 adults. So what does that tell me? The adults like the helicopter egg drop just as much as the kids do, okay? And yes, we've had to refrain some adults from picking up eggs with our security team before, okay? A number of years ago, back at Summers Point, uh, when it was a little less intense than it is now, I saw a mom push another kid out of the way, because yes, parents do that. We don't have bad kids. We have bad parents, correct? So that their kid could get the right eggs. And I just prayed in Jesus' name, all of those eggs would be empty and that kid would get no candy because they had a mean mom. And so uh, this is reaching people far from Jesus. And I tell our church all the time, I tell you, when we reach people far from Jesus, they will act like they are far from Jesus, correct? And people are peopley. They act like people. And, and so at the end of the day, we were all far from Jesus at one time. Amen? Every one of us, okay? You didn't wake up one morning out of your mother's womb and automatically you were a Bible-loving Jesus freak, correct? No, you had to have an encounter with Jesus. And, and so uh, the helicopter egg drop is one of those things uh, that we do. And then again, 175 dream teamers to serve is absolutely supernatural in that. So come on, let's appreciate our dream teamers one more time. They are the backbone of what God is doing. And so that's the reaching, the equipping is the vehicle here at Fusion Church and equipping primarily happens through our connect group uh, ministry here at Fusion. That's the sheet of all the connect groups that you can get involved in. There is no excuse every day of the week. This is a church that does not sleep here every day of the week. There are connect groups uh, that you can join in. And so last year, 676 unique people going through groups, getting out of rows and into circles. I want to celebrate that. Uh, 211 leaders. Let me tell you, these are the best pastors that Fusion Church has. 211, because guess what? The, the pastors that we have on full-time staff, we can't minister to the thousands. But what we can do is we can raise up incredible group leaders. And our group leaders, they love, they care, they pray, and they battle for you. And we see supernatural miracles. So come on, let's appreciate all of our group leaders that are serving and continuing. So we're building uh, that up. 40 new people last year was incredible. 168 groups, 45 uh, V groups. So we're still doing it online. Okay, many of you are part of that 6 a.m. soap that continues to uh, be an incredible uh, way that we can learn the Bible. And then let's celebrate 22 freedom groups last year that were engaged in all that God was doing. And so to make all that happen, what does it look like? To make it happen, 533 dream teamers. Uh, we saw 155 of you serving for the first time last year. Again, 98 going through Welcome Home. We want to do better with that uh, this coming year. And then listen to this, four. 108 people participating in our Freedom Conference. So one in May, one in December. If you've gone through it, make some noise and give a shout to Jesus, correct? Because this is the secret source of Fusion Church. People ask, what is it? Is it this? I say, no, it is our freedom ministry here at Fusion Church. Why? Because we're able to see people find freedom, people to find deliverance of all the junk in their lives. Hi, my name's Brendan. I've been through freedom seven times. Guess what? And I'm going through it again this semester as I'm leading a group because there's some more junk in my life. Who else needs some junk that you need to get free from, okay? So tell your neighbors, sign up for a group. Look at them right now and say, sign up 
for a group. I don't think anyone can beat me going through it uh, that many times. And we now, now, we've, we have other churches participating. That's celebratory. Other churches are coming and saying, how can we be a part of that? And so this last Freedom uh, Conference we had in December, we ran out of space. We didn't have enough space for the prayer lines of people. And so God, help us increase uh, the facilities so we can minister to people. And so we want to reach people that are far from Jesus. We want to equip Christ followers. That's the discipleship vehicle here at Fusion Church. And then we want to go, correct? And the going is the overflow of what God's doing in our life, okay? We don't want to be the dead sea. We want to be the living sea. Jesus says, go out. Go out and make disciples. And so when we see people going and being a part of the vision, it gets us excited because that is the health of what God is doing in this church. And so what, is the, what did the go look like here uh, last year? Well, we saw this. We saw 132 outreach initiatives last year, okay? 132. So what does that mean? Often we work with churches that maybe have one or two outreaches a year. Here at Fusion Church, because of God's grace and wisdom and an incredible dream team, we have over two and a half outreaches every single week. So come on, let's celebrate that because that is absolutely amazing. There's no lack, listen to me, there is no lack for you to connect here at Fusion Church. If it's not a group, guess what? You can jump on an outreach team and then we'll still get you back in a group. And so over 1,097 hours served, listen to this, 1,097 hours served divided by 40 hours, which is a weekly job, uh, gives us 49 full-time weeks. We saw in this region 49 full-time weeks of service into our community, and that, that gets us excited. And you know what that does? That makes an impact in our region. Over 1,000 116 of you, Dream Teamers, you served. So come on, give yourselves a hand. That is an incredible number right there. We had one international missions trip. And then look at this. How many people did we impact last year? You impacted. Over 15 and a half thousand people impacted last year in Cumberland County and Atlantic County. So one more time. Come on, let's celebrate God's faithfulness in that. Correct? I told you you're going to warm up your hands today. And so the big outreach that we saw God really open some doors. Again, we've got to do things like we've never done before is something we called Operation Orange. And Operation Orange was to bless teachers. We're told we can't go into the schools. I don't take no for an answer. And so under the leadership of Heather Noel, our groups and outreach director, she said, what happens if we put gift bags together in orange uh, tote bags? Because, you know, plastic bags are illegal. So let's get the orange love like crazy bags. Let's fill them with wipes and all these supplies for teachers and then go into the schools. And all of a sudden we had 12 schools say, hey, hey, Fusion Church, can you come into my school? And so we went into the schools and we were able to love on these teachers. Originally, we were going to only do 800 uh, of these bags, and then their schools started calling us. Have you ever thought about the day that schools start calling the church to go, do you have any bags for me? In fact, there was one school, they wouldn't give up. They, they just would not stop. They were like, hey, we never received our bags. We never received our bags. And so we had to go from 800 to 1,000 to 1,200. And then we finally finished off with 1,288 teachers in Cumberland and Atlantic counties loved on. Yeah. A uh, person that I know that uh, is far from Jesus, uh, that's his teacher, actually texts me that I know in the community and said, man, thank you so much for the bag of refreshing that your church brought. And I thought, that's the dream team and that's the vision of what God's doing. So the community and the culture might say, you're not allowed to come in, but God can give us ways that we can get in to serve our community. Amen to that. So let's pray. Here's another example, uh, not on the screen, but right now we've got an individual in our church that uh, loves on first responders. And so whether it's police or it's fire or paramedics, uh, this individual always has a minivan full of waters and drinks and snacks and protein bars. And whenever there's an accident, whenever the EMTs are on the run, whenever there's a house fire, this individual goes out, okay? She's got approval from us and also the local departments. And she has these go bags 
for these people. And so uh, over the course of a month, they will, she will often minister to 30 to 40 first responders in a month simply by loving on them. Isn't it absolutely incredible right there? And so God is on the move using our unique talents uh, to connect in this communion. So how, correct? How do we do this? How do we have over two and a half outreaches a week? How do we minister internationally in different continents? How do we minister here? It's a lot of gears that are working, but it helps when we are a radically generous church. And so here at Fusion, we believe not just that we as individuals are called to bring the first 10% of our financial resources and trust God with it so God can do more with the 90% than what we can do with 100%, but as a church. We believe in as a church that we want to tithe in outreach and missions 10%. We, in fact, believe that the first 1% goes to Israel, where we minister to Jews that are Christ followers in Israel, because that's what the book of Romans says. But last year, as a church, we gave over $140,000 to this community. Come on, $140,000 is absolutely incredible, given to missions. So that's locally, nationally, and internationally. And so there's a little bit more that we're giving uh, from last year and making that happen, because we want to steward uh, that properly. But that allows it to be a vehicle. Listen to this. Ten years ago, uh, the corporate budget of the church was not even $100,000. And now we're giving over $140,000, $150,000, $160,000 into our community. Ten years ago, uh, the church was so broke, it couldn't even afford uh, to give me a paycheck. I had to raise my money outside of this church. And so as we have trusted God with the first as a church, the Lord is taking care of it. In fact, in the last 10 years, uh, you, the church, has been able to give over a million dollars into missions. Isn't that amazing? Over a million dollars. We're not eating the seed, but we are trusting God. And so what does that mean uh, corporately for a church? Well, because of our radical generosity, our tithe, our offering, our obedience to God, we were able to see right at 1.6 million. So 1 million, 650,000, 710. And I got excited about this, baby. It is the 10 cents that we're stewarding here at Fusion Church, correct? I was like, yes, Mr. Treasurer, Bob Gilmore, you're amazing. That 10 cents We will steward it down to the 10 cents because every cent God trusts us with, we want to be good stewards. Amen? And I take that very serious, church. Very serious. Every, everything we want to steward because it is the sacrificial giving of this church that allows Jesus to continue to be the light in the community. And so because of your giving, we saw 198 first-time givers. Those are people saying, hey, I want to be a part of what God is doing. Now, uh, we are at what's called a fast-growing church. You saw the numbers, okay? So uh, because we're a fast-growing church, statistics would say often we're 25% behind this number here. This number should be higher, but because we're reaching people that are far from Jesus, they don't understand. In fact, if you ever talk to an unchurched person, they're like, you're crazy if you're asking me to tithe. Like, give 10%? Are you crazy? I need ESPN. I need this, I need that, I don't need to give to the church. And so this here is the generous giving of obedient Christ followers. So let's pray that God can speak to us of how to be better stewards in this community. Amen? Amen. So what does that mean in closing? In closing, John chapter 4, or John chapter 14, verse 8 says the following. It says, Jesus answered, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And so what are we looking at? Number three, what's next here at Fusion Church is that we want to be the church, okay? We want to um, see life increase in our children and our students and in our adults. We want to see God's healing manifest in a powerful and intimate way. We want to see God's freedom uh, like never before. If there's half a million people in this region, God, Give us the wisdom to love on the one like this lady's doing with the EMT and the police. But give us the wisdom to reach thousands of people like we're seeing online. Last year online, cumulative, we saw over half a million people impacted by the gospel of this church. Half a million people. So God's on the move. God, give us purpose, vision, and understanding. Cumberland County, I want to give you a shout out. You're a forward operating base. If you've been a part of the military, you know that it's not easy being a part of a forward operating base. Uh, they're, 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 they're specialized fighters over there. And so Cumberland County, we're excited that God is going to continue to work. And you're working so hard. 
We love you and we care for you. You're setting up and tearing down. You're working in the community. And so we want to say, God, help us to build the foundation because the scripture says that Peter is the rock. You're the rock. And so how do we continue to build that rock in that community? How we continue to build the church as the scripture says, because the gates of hell will not prevail. Amen to that. And so we're seeing that in Cumberland County and here at Egg Harbor Township. Here at Egg Harbor Township, well, you know, God is moving. And so how do we allow ourselves to be what I want to call the hub of all the counties, correct, that we're impacting? And the hub of this picture that I have up here, uh, the, the hub keeps the spokes together and the rim in alignment. And so as we build out this hub in this next year, as we uh, complete the 800-seat worship center that we're getting to ready to embark on, and you'll hear more about this this year, as we continue to increase discipleship and community outreach, God, give us the wisdom for this hub. But this hub is made possible by you, the individuals at Fusion Church, the body of Christ. And so next month, starting next week in the month of February, we're going to equip each other. I'm going to show you how God has uniquely wired you. Maybe it's the gift of administration. Maybe it's the gift of worship. Maybe it's the gift of hospitality. Maybe it's your type A personality that I have, an apostolic personality to, to go out in the midst of a pandemic and see Cumberland County started. But maybe you have a gift of prayer. Maybe you have a gift of healing. Maybe you're a details person. Maybe you spot the errors. God has wired you to be a part of this church so that we can impact people in a greater way. Amen to that? Well, come on, all of our locations, let's stand to our feet. And I want to ask you the question in closing, this application point, number one, what is the Holy Spirit saying to you? I have seen the Spirit of God moving in this service, speaking to you. And so would you just understand what God is speaking to you? Number two, how can you engage with the vision that God has given Fusion Church? Maybe that's getting in a group. Maybe that's jumping on a dream team. And then number three, how can you see your vision fulfilled? Maybe taking some time this week to have a date with yourself, correct? Some self-care to net out the vision that God has given you. And then we want to help you in the month of February fulfill that vision. Let me pray with you. Father, right now, God, I pray, speak to us so clearly today. We need your divine strength. We need your divine understanding. We need your divine clarity, God. And so we pray this and we ask this of all of our people throughout our locations because your faithfulness is great and your mercy is amazing. And we celebrate that today. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Well, come on.